Hello there. In this video, I want to go over some extensions that I highly recommend install on your local stable diffusion installations. In previous video, when I put link up there, we did went over the steps how to install stable diffusion. And if you miss or you don't have it, I would recommend for you to watch this video. As well, we did install also one extensions as an example to showing that sometimes complexity and how to integrate this extension. So in this one, let's go back to our stable diffusion, go to our extension tab. And you notice right here, this is stable diffusion text to video. It's what was installed in previous video. Now I want to add more. I want to put it control net extension and I want to put it some other ones extensions as well. So for this, we'll go to the tab called available. And in the search, we just type control. This will filter and showing us a little bit smaller list. Without this, the list is quite a bit extensive with all these available extensions. So here, what I want to do, I want to install SD Web UI Control Net. So I want to install this one. As well, we're going to install Open Pause Editor. This is will help us to work together. And in the future, we're going to install also ABC Inc. Utility, which is a great, great tool for animation. But let's start with the first, these two. One, we're going to install and click on Control Net. Let's go click Install. And I would recommend for you to wait, install other um, extensions till we complete installation with Control Net because Open Editor will work with Control Net hand by hand. And uh, I want to be sure that one is worked properly before we move to another. Okay, after installation completed, we still don't have a tab. We also can go in text to image and we don't have it any drop down for control net. It will appear. For this, we need to go back extensions, install it, and let's go ahead and click apply and restart. After apply restart, you should start having this drop down menu, which is a control net. So it seems like we have a control net. Let's extend. And if we preview what is important for us, it's preprocessor and models. If we click on preprocessor, we can see a all different type. However, if we click on the models, we don't see any. And the reason because we need to download models separately. In preprocessors, it's very small files. And it's very easy to install. The models is a little bit larger and we need to install them separately. To get models, I recommend you to go to this link or you can go directly to Hugging Face and search for Elixir Control Net. From this point, we need to go to Files and Versioning inside. And you notice right here we have our models. So we click on the models. We need to download these models in our folder. You can notice they are very large size. So it will take some time for you to download it. You want to download those files in your stable diffusion directory going down to extension SD Web UI Control Net and click on the models. You'll notice right here have plenty different YAMP files, which is quite a bit small. What we want to do is place those files after they're uploaded in this folder. Okay, so after all long time to download this file, this should be available for you here. Now, if you're going in Stable Diffusion, and we're going now to the models. We want to click this button refresh. So if we click now, it's reload models and we have these models available for us. Now, so what is so magical about these models? And reason is because they can preprocess image for us. And based on this image, we can actually create very similar. So let me show you an example right here. We're going to type the photo was bit for artwork, all is epic. And I took this one directly from RPG4 manual. It's because what we're going to use. And I think this is will display very well as well is set width and height according to the pre-trained model, as well as sampling steps. So let's go ahead and click and generate. And here we have a very nice result. But what if I want different pose? What if I want specific? It will be quite a bit hard to going and arrange all of the stuff. For this is a control net is will help. So let's go first preload image. And here example one of the pose I want to use. So next, 
I want to select preprocessor and model to be sure it will create it. And this information that will create will start feeding our stable diffusion to create same pause, but with prompt app created. Let's go ahead and select different preprocessor. So if I click down and select preprocessor Kenny, you notice the stuff is changing right here. I can also modify and preview this. Not right now. Let's go ahead. We enable, click enable on the control net. We select the Kenny processor. We'll select also model Kenny. And we'll just click on generate. Notice it will take a little bit time when it's created first. And because it's preloading special models and it loads them inside the memory. And now when it's rendered completed, you can see the positions is exactly the same as the head and look. So this is way I can have a guidance for my image and place it. They also have it all these different type. You have it canny, you have it open pose and other elements. And to understand how of this preprocessor and other work, I will link to this page where you can go over and see what is canny does. So for example, you have preview when you put image, it just outline. You also have an MS line, which is best for the architectural. Have it head map, scrabble map, additional. You also have it one which is using a lot of time. You'll notice it's called open pause. So in this case, what's happening? It will pre-create almost all pause for our person and use it exactly the same. So let's see what we can do with open pause now. I'm going to load a different image and you can see right here the person is on the ground. So next we're going to select down and we're going to open open pause because we select this preprocessor. Now we want to select also open pause processor for this. Also option is selected because this is a wide and we have it here more vertical. So it's two different formats. We have it options. We can also switch, for example, have it 768 as a width and 512 as a height. And also we can modify by saying resize, crop or resize and fill. So it's different options. By default, it will say crop and resize right now. And when we're done, let's go ahead and click generate. And here, as a result, we have a very weird pause for this gentleman. Also notice with the render, we have a preview of the pause how it's created. By the way, the newer version of ControlNet will have the preview buttons on the bottom. So if you install otherwise, you won't have it preview here. You will have it preview on the bottom. But again, this is just example on the pause. And of course, you can generate another ones. If this will look a little bit too weird to have the arm as a leg, then we can try render again. And here another variation. Of course, anytime when you work, you can play around with CF scale. If you bring a little bit more, it will have a little bit more um, variety in how the AI will translate your code. If you remember, this one is will have it give it a little more flexibility if we're going more higher or less flexibility as well you can work with the control weights control weights it's how much the current pause will influence you know, and just to be fun let's try different for example right here is a different pose and we have it just changed to 768 just different resolution on the image we'll go ahead put it control weight one and switch CFG maybe to about six. That should work. We'll seal on open pause. And let's go ahead and click generate. And here this pause definitely fit a little bit better, but you can see how the positioning apply very well. So this is very powerful control net application if you utilize by using with another images or poses. And you notice before right here, I said we have it at this pause with another extensions, we actually can create those poses. So let's go back to our extensions, 
going to available we'll click on a load let's go search for control okay and right here you can see open pause editor let's go ahead and click install on this after installation completed it should disappear here then we're going to install it also i forgot to do one before but i highly recommend to almost always click check for updates even after installations this way it just will go back and says what copy you have it we have it latest so let's go right now click apply and restart the one thing about apply and restart it will clear all of the settings so if we go back text to text open the control net you'll notice everything disappear so we're missing all of this stuff but it is okay because you remember we're going to use it our own open pause so for this we'll go to open pause editor we'll click on this and this is look a little bit familiar from what we saw before only here you have the ability you can move this joint so for example if I go and I set up like this gentleman a little bit uh, tricky with the eyes because you kind of need to see how they are created and I'll just tilt it maybe just like this little bit and one leg let's go put it right there you know what let's go cross the leg I don't know what has come up but this example so when we're done with this we can go ahead and says send to text image let's go click on this and you notice right here in control net now we have this image up here so next we need to select preprocessor. Well, actually we don't need preprocessor because we have our image already here for us. We need just select the model and model will be open pause and we can have it dancing elf. Okay, let's go ahead, click generate. And you notice the pause does not look even closer. The reason is this box enable, it's need to be checked. So let's go click on enable and try one more time and here we have it our pause exactly the same as we said before and it's same pause displayed it's what we selected so let's look on another options for our settings and here is a preprocessor we have control what if i want to combine multiple because if we look on some options we have it to create all of this what if i want to have it canny for the details and i want the pause for another and i want to have a face as well then we needed more than one option for control net for this we need to go inside the settings and some of the extensions they will add control tab so right here you can see we have a text to video it's what we did before but we also have it now control net and control net is specify location where it's located as well it's have it how many mind control multi-control nets and other set so what i recommend for you to do set at least two many times i just said three here and i want model cache matching this so we'll go with a three for this you can keep it this mesh uh model cache for one usually i said same as i said the least similar to amount of the tab next we'll go down and we'll look what options we have it this ones is allowed other script to control let's enable this this is allowed our other uh, plugin extension to control this control net to pass information which is kind of very nice with this case okay on this case we'll click apply and we'll click restart load look what this have right here this is required restart so just reload ui won't necessarily work so for this what we need to do it's going close this one and again start our new batch file by going in a stable diffusions going down here web ui user and okay so now it's restarted let's go reloaded our ui and if we click on control net you notice right here we have it one two and three we have it more tabs available for us so we can use it more than one control net option Let's go ahead and see what else we can have it right here we have it our extensions again we click on available and click load as we're going through this another one i recommend to install it's called dream booth this one will allow you to 
generate your own models based on the image you are provided so you can create your model and if you are a photographer videographer or want to use your own content or even if you're drawing your content you can actually scan all your images and create the model that will look exactly same as what you photo shooting or you're drawing so this is very cool model and i'll just go ahead and click install on the dream booth i don't think we in this video will go over how to use this but just i want to show you some different type of extensions that you can install and just play around experiment with them after install completed on this let's go back up click on install it and it should be right here dream booth extensions let's click for the updates and after we'll click apply and restart with apply and restart we should have it new tab is available for us and it's a dream booth sometimes actually you need go and restart again your um, main prompt your common prompt you need restarted the application so it will reread it because if you notice before it was in display and after restarting it will start showing so in dream booth it's a little bit complex but right here you can also create a model train and create very realistic up to your style or with a model that you work before maybe as a photographer you can create here it does look a little bit scary at the beginning but as we progress we will work with dream booth and you will understand very well about all of what this component is doing here and another ones i will kind of recommend it's a little bit older but it's still very great and one of the first to create animations it's called the form so this one same we can go ahead and install it just click on install okay when it's done installing let's go up here we're going to install it again apply restart and in this case you can see we have our deforms tab available i say sometimes it would require for you to restart overall your server but sometimes it just will available directly before using this um extensions would i recommend you to follow the help and just check so be sure you install everything properly before start using and of course we'll discover more interesting extensions as we're going forward the general purpose of this video i want you to go and explore to install some of these extensions play with them see how they work if you don't like any of them or they work in a properly not what you like it you can go to your extension install it tab and just uncheck this this way they won't be loaded every time when you start your server